That too, but. Yeah. So, 2240. Got a power valve right here. And the uh, hammer spring. For it, we're going to shoot this one as is in stock and uh, shoot it at the ballistics gel and then later on install the power valve and see the difference in actual power. Then, might get into a steel breech kit and uh, an extender barrel and see if that makes any a difference. Here they are, all pretty much next to each other. That first shot is right at the top. A little more pressure out of that one. Next two are right next to each other. A little close. You don't. You see, there's not much deformation between in them. The velocity is not there to cause them to expand. But that permanent cavity, that little permanent channel, it's not bad. So. Put this back, guy back in the fridge, swap out the uh, power valve, for, I mean, the, the regular valve for the power valve, and see the difference. All right, all the work's been done, and it's been modded. It's got the new power valve in there, and a new hammer spring. Well, so far, that power valve does make a slight difference. There's the first three shot, right there. There's the next three. You see that first shot down below, it's got a little more deformation in it. It's actually flattened out quite a bit more than the other ones, not by much, but there is a difference. And uh, distance wise, even the one that went the least out of the three went further than the furthest one from the first three shots before the power valve mod. So that power valve does add some bit of extra energy to it. Uh, there's also some feathering going on with some of the damage here. You see that? You see that damage right there? It's got a little bit more of a significant permanent cavity. Those are just stream streamlines. This has some feathering going on in there. So bigger damage deeper penetration that power valve mod does make a difference stay tuned when I add a uh, seal breech and longer barrel to see if that increases the velocity as of right now the first shots only made it halfway through the ballistic gel block the second group with the power valve made it half an inch further let's see what a longer barrel will do stay tuned all right folks here we go steal a breech kit longer barrel it's about a 50 percent extension on the barrel original barrel is about seven and a half seven seven and a third the uh, new barrel ten and a, and a third so it's a good increase in length almost 50 percent increase uh, in length of barrel and uh, the, the sights won't really fit on this one, especially on that steel breech. So I put this red dot on there. I sighted it in. Now I'm going to pop in a fresh CO2 cartridge and uh, shoot the ballistics gel from the other side and see how much uh, more penetration we get. Hopefully we get more expansion. Actually, the, uh, before the extended barrel, got deeper penetration. See the feathering? 
So it's sealed up a little bit. You see some feathering on this one. Still. I don't see any additional expansion or penetration. So I don't really see an advantage to getting that longer barrel for uh at least not a three inch length barrel, or three inch three inches longer. Three inches longer won't do much. I think I would have to get like a 14 inch barrel, double length pretty much, in order to get deeper penetration and uh, further expansion. I, mean, I guess uh did make a difference in I guess a slight bit of a difference in expansion, which could have slowed it down and gotten us less penetration. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna have to cut these guys out and compare them. All right, from the uh, perspective of height, there isn't a difference really to the. Uh... See, right here, this is the first shot group um, stock, no mods. This is the power valve, and this is the power valve steel breech and barrel extension by three inches. And the only difference I see here is the one with the barrel extension, the blah blah mods done, the hollow point cavity opened up a little bit, a very minute amount, which could have slowed it down so that it didn't have the exact same penetration as the one with just the power valve. So. I think when it comes to, I think it would help in regards to penetration, like uh, for, I don't know, hard uh, surfaces, like maybe like bone, it'll, it'll make it easier to break through bone, but will it actually serve the purpose of a hollow point pellet? No. But for other pellets, like round nose pellets, hunting pellets, it'll serve its purpose. So you do get definite, well, a very minute increase in power. So I'm, my guess is it goes between you know, from the 460 after those mods uh, of the power valve, hammer spring, the steel breech case, most, mostly for aesthetics, and the uh, extended barrel. You have an increase of about 60 feet to 80 feet per second, so anywhere between 520 to 540 at best. All right, but that doesn't increase the 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 foot pounds of energy uh, released into whatever you're shooting. So definitely worth the upgrades. Uh, I do prefer iron sights to red dot. The red dot worked just fine, but it's uh, they're very sensitive. So slightest little jostling could change the uh, aim point, and it did. It uh, changed it so it aims a little higher. So I had to take multiple shots with this one to get that third shot in there because I laid down the pistol for a second and that changed the aim point for that uh, red dot. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, I will be giving away, doing another contest giveaway at my Explosive Pellets, the Mark III. Uh, the all be Mark III P or Mark III S, the uh, flint tip. I might include a few, but it'll mostly be the Mark 3P and the Mark 3S. <laughs> you can see my daughter behind me. Uh, and uh, and I might include into the next contest giveaway when I get to 30, all right, 30 subscribers. <laughs> the uh, uh, the new pellet, the Stormtrooper pellet. Uh, well, the Stormtrooper series. There are uh, three pellets, just like it was with the Mark III, three different variations. Uh, this one won't include the flint tip, but I think you guys will enjoy seeing the, the uh, effects of the Stormtrooper pellet. And they're not all explosive like the Mark III was. The Mark III, all variations of it were explosive. The, this one will only have one explosive pellet, but even without the explosive charge, you'll like the effect. All right, stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, here's a quick update. My, uh, before it was uh, Canada, I gave a shout out to Canada because they were my number two for the longest time. And now Canada has dropped down to number four. My current number two is 
Indonesia. Keep it up, Indonesia. And remember, you will only qualify for the contest giveaway if you are my top two. So America, it's going to be hard to top America. They're number one. We're number one. Uh, but for the my number two, so far it's Indonesia, uh, followed by the UK and Mexico. Not Mexico, actually. Canada, then Mexico. So if you want to be in the contest, uh, the contest giveaway, make sure to tell your friends about the site, have them view. Uh, if you're in Indonesia, t tell them to keep it up, keep up the views, and you know, support the channel. Keep yourself a number two spot. So when I get that magic number thirty, bam, you have a, a not, you have the opportunity to win the uh, explosive pellets. Now, uh, I will be giving out away uh, giving away two tins. So one for for my number one and one for my number two. So they're gonna have the same uh, content. It'll be the explosive pellets Mark III uh, S and Mark III P, uh, along with one of each of my new Stormtrooper pellets, which you, which you will see in a future video. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> Sideways, go get some.